Hey, John Cristani here. I have hundreds of thousands of people who follow me on different platforms between YouTube and Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. And in this video, I'm going to be going over five different strategies you can use to crack the code on social media and build up a base of traffic as a marketer that's free and can give you the freedom to get your message out there and have a maximum impact on a large number of people and you can use it to monetize, you know, and sell products or just to change the world. And I'll be going over these five different strategies in this video that I've used to grow my following to be hundreds of thousands and hundreds of thousands of people across all the different mediums. So stay tuned and I'm gonna go over each of these in detail. I'm gonna show you some examples of other individuals using these strategies to help grow their businesses and personal brand. So of the five strategies, I'm gonna start with the first one, which is possibly the most important, and it's the reason I put it number one. And what that is, is identify your passions. And why do I say identify your passions? Now, the reality is that if you don't do a business or social media around your passions, it's gonna be a short-lived game because no matter what, it takes time to grow a personal brand and to grow your social media. And if you're not doing something or at least talking about something you're passionate about, eventually you will lose interest and probably, you know, all your work will be for naught. Now, your passions can be a variety of things. It can be your passion about gardening or your passion about spirituality or you're passionate about, you know, helping people understand their emotions or you're passionate about catching rats. I recently subscribed to a YouTuber because I was looking up for rat traps. Our, our neighbors have a, you know, they're hoarders and they have a rat infestation in their backyard. And I looked up rat traps and I found there was a YouTuber who literally, all he does is talk about different traps to catch different types of animals. And he has over a million subscribers just talking about catching you know, skunks or raccoons or squirrels or rats. It's amazing. Now, here's a good example of an entrepreneur, Elise Linninger, and she has, you know, 13,000 people on Instagram, and she's built her personal brand around kind of three different things, which is nature, spirituality, and skincare. And these are somewhat unrelated, you know, fields, but they all kind of combine to really paint a picture of her brand and as you see she does a lot of posts of her in nature and she does a lot of posts about skincare which is what she's selling and how she monetizes her audience you can see her and she does a lot of stuff see spiritual entrepreneur and all that jazz so she's really gotten a good sense of what her brand is three things you should never feel guilty for again in nature hanging out family you know motivation etc and she talks all about these three things and she's been able to build a brand and a business around things she's passionate about the next thing you want to understand about social media is it's friends first business second and this applies to kind of two areas of social media the first is actually with other social media influencers if you're going to build a brand you wanna be interacting with other bigger influencers than you in your field. Like their posts, you know, comment on their feeds or comment on their posts or their videos, you know, like their stuff, etc. All this stuff is goes to helping create a relationship with those people before you reach out to them and ask them to say, hey, could we do a collaboration? Or hey, could we do something together? It makes it a lot easier if you go friends first, business second. The other area where this actually helps you out is if you treat your audience like friends first, business second. If you focus on adding value and creating rapport and building a relationship with your audience, you're gonna have a much easier time when you actually do go out and recommend a product to them or recommend a, 
whatever it is you're selling via social media. The third thing is be your best self, okay? So on social media, people don't wanna know if you're having a bad day or if you're depressed or if you're complaining about how long the line at the DMV is. People don't really wanna know that. You wanna keep things positive. You can bring in certain negativity if you're being transparent and you're being raw and you're talking about you know, how hard it is when you miss a loved one or something like that, but how that empowered you to build a business where you could work from home, something like that. But you need to have people interested in what you're posting about. And everyday people, they post you know, about the burger they eat or about the bad experience with an airline they had. And in social media, you should keep things positive. People don't wanna hear about your bad day. I know it sounds like you're just ignoring the negative, but in reality, you wanna keep things positive, okay? Overall, keep things positive. And if you're gonna be raw and transparent, bring a positive note or angling to what you're doing. Now, this fourth aspect of social media is pretty hard, and that is managing your time on social media. Now. Social media is built, the algorithms, the tech companies have literally built the algorithms to suck you in and keep you coming back and keep you sucked in. I don't know how many times, if you've ever been in this situation where you pick up your phone for no reason whatsoever, you don't even know what you're going to check on your phone. And that's because social media has been built. It's a mind virus to keep us coming back. The blinks, the boops, the, the rings, they're all built to hit our brain, get our attention and keep us coming back. And as social media creators or influencers or whatever you wanna do, building an audience, you have to really understand that in order to build a business around this, you have to actually work on producing and creating content. Use your time to put stuff out there rather than being used by social media. Our job is to use social media, not to be used by it. And it's a very thin line of distinction and it's a vortex you can fall in and you end up wasting your time and it's very hard as an entrepreneur when you're dealing with these very, very dangerous elements such as Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, which are built to bring us in, okay? It's very hard to get out of the trap. Once you've added a bunch of friends on Facebook, it's very hard to disconnect. And so you have to understand not to be used by it and to manage your time. And the last thing about social media is don't spam, okay? Don't say the same message over and over and over again, just like I did, right? But if every one of your posts is like, hey, great income opportunity, buy this, or like buy my skincare product, or buy my CBD product, or buy my weight loss product, if every post is the same thing, people are gonna eventually tune off. You need to kind of mix it up and add variety. And let's say all you do is sell skincare products, you know, with like something like Rodan and Fields. If all you do is that, mix it up. Talk about people's stories. Talk a little bit about the product. Talk a little bit about certain herbal ingredients. Talk about how you're in nature and you're traveling. Talk about your relationship with your husband and how you know, having beautiful skin has given you the confidence to be a, you know, more energetic and sexy and fulfilled female or whatever it is. Mix up your messages because if you just stick to the same thing, it'll get stale and people will tune off. Now, one social media who I think does it really well is you have Brendan Teeger. So he has a, a big Instagram following, 260,000 followers. And, you know, he's doing a lot of the things right. If you look at his posts, he posts about travel and fashion and cars and money. You know, these are all kind of different elements. He's selling a business. You know, he's teaching people how to create a business. I think he's a network marketer. But, you know, he mixes it up. He's doing these different passions. He's traveling. You know, here's him in fancy jets. He features his fashion. He features smoking a lot, actually and all that sort of stuff. So he's mixing it up and he speaks to a very specific audience with what he does, but he does it fresh and he posts a lot and he makes it fun and there's some variety there. So whatever you do with social media, be engaging, be interesting, follow these steps and you will 
be successful. And again, once all, stay consistent. Now, if this helped you out a little bit, if you're an aspiring social media influencer or trying to build a personal brand, comment below and let us know what is your channel or what is your Instagram or whatever that is. I'd love to see what you all are working on and make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification icon if you wanna stay updated with latest marketing strategies and ways you can build an income from home. Now, I mainly teach about affiliate marketing. If you wanna go deeper into what I do to make money, I make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars every month, okay? Yeah, I said that. You can join my money club. So there's a, right next to the subscribe button, there is a money club button that says join. And you can have me as your mentor and you get two live streams per month where you can actually ask me question and answer, surround yourself with me and people like me and just talk to me live. And also you're gonna get access to over 40 hours of additional video content where you can learn from step-by-step -step training courses that I've put out and up your game and take yourself to the next level. So like this video, comment below with what social media you're working on, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, LinkedIn, whatever it is. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Let's get it.